on our first item is previous minutes. I assume everybody had the chance to read over the previous minutes. I noticed, John, you made some corrections online. Correct. Okay. Uh, and those are changed. Those were changed. I did look. Tammy, can I get you to take that end microphone and just turn it towards you and turn it on? Mm -hmm. So if you do have comments, we can just catch them. That's your mic. You can drag it over to the table. It's kind of a Okay. Well, so we don't hear you. You'll hear me. You, you sure? Danny, you said those corrections have been made. Yeah, I did that like the next day. And yeah. I think they were sent back out to us yeah. with the correct results. So. Motion to accept last month's minutes. Okay. Uh, second that motion. The <laughs> motion. <laughs> motion is made and seconded to accept the previous minutes. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Reports and warrants have gone around. Those will be signed. Finances. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Sure. 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 Yes. All right. Anything new and exciting on here we should be looking at? Or um, anything that we should be focused on? I don't think so. Okay. Um, we could just get, um, we just asked for more of our line of credit for FEMA. For Mac, but that's it. I think that's all I haven't looked at the warrants too. Okay, I haven't, I haven't looked at the warrants yet. Um, but that's it. Okay. And you know, I know we were talking about this with the PCC that we just signed. Yeah. They have their own line. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yes, I guess do. that's what I thought. But they just haven't spent anything yet this year, so there's nothing right. on there yet. Usually it's underneath the town budget on its own line item. And then and if there's anything extra, it's usually reimbursed by grants mm -hmm. years past. But did anybody else see anything that they were struck by? Not struck. I'm just wondering, um, do we know how much we sold in ATV stickers yet? I don't they, I have a total actually. I can get I can it's not you guys. curiosity. We do have a total. Yeah. We're to like eighty we're on sticker eighty three, I think we sold there. I have a, so not quite as good as last year though. Not yet. Not yet. Well, we appreciate the people that are following the town bylaws and buying those stickers. People are still coming in. People came in today. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Buy them, so. Excellent. 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 And just a reminder to any town members, the stickers are no cost to you. So come on in and get them. Damn it, we have to help you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> any other on here that we should see? And we also have the application is mailed in, we can mail it to them. That's correct. Online. Yep, there is an online application that can be mailed in with a self addressed stamp envelope if you live outside of town. And we will happily fill that out and send it back to you. Um, also, on your warrants, you'll see a reimbursement for khaki and yep. for the flags because we can only get so many sent here. Um, so we had to get some sent to her house. Okay. So she said it her Amazon account instead. Right. Right, Amazon was only allowed 20 flags. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's why she did 10. No, that's whatever it takes to get us what we need for the flags is fine. But. So between you and Mac, do we have a total of what the flags cost? Close to a ballpark? Um, there should be a, there's a total down here what we spent that does not include this past warrant. So. You know which one. So we get the flags for the cemetery, which is 179. The reimbursement for flags, which was 232 on these two warrants, and then whatever 63.55 there. I think we were in like the 1200. It was, it was close to 1200 or just right. over 1200. I was just looking, I was looking for the rest of it. The, the rest of it will be on the credit card, the town credit card. Oh, okay. Say, so it, it, won't be, it won't be itemized. Okay. Yeah. Nope. I, I think the total was around 12 or 12, 1250, something yeah. like that. For the polls, the, the, the brackets, the flags, yep. They're still up, they're still looking good. And we have, do we purchase extras to replace in case? No. No, but we know what we have. Okay. Yeah. Good. Pole, I thought they looked good. Yeah, and the poles are sturdy. Yes. Both the poles are sturdy, and the good news is the the uh, brackets or the anchors that the poles are going on are made out of uh, aluminum or? Either aluminum or just a metal. It's a metal instead of a plastic. So we should have. The only thing we would need to replace is the physical flag. Right. Excellent. And they're not even, they're, they're pretty, 
storable and so on and all that, just yeah. like yep. color pressing. So cool beans. Thank you. All right. I have nothing else. Does anybody else have anything? No. Yeah. Quick and painless. Thank you very much. Thank you. Agenda. I apologize if I mispronounce this, but Terry Giroux, Giroux, President. Okay, it's not a huge audience. I'm not seeing them, so don't see them. I'm going to assume uh, they are not here. We will. Uh, don't see them in the meeting either. Okay. We will table that for now. Linda, would you like to step up to the mic? Sure. is I did hear that the train had come back into town to address issues with the uh, storm drain project that they did last year. And uh, they didn't come knocking on my door or send me an email or anything. And I do have some issues. One being that the sidewalk that they put in to replace the existing sidewalk that ran parallel 108, not only is it not straight anymore, it's at a higher level than the old sidewalk. So the sidewalk that I use going into the enclosed porch to connect the two sidewalks, they need a sloping section. And because the median area on the east side of the main sidewalk is higher, and then you've got that sloping sidewalk, when you get a winter rain or a fall, I end up with about two inches of water in my sidewalk that goes into the house. And then that becomes ice. Yep. And so, so to not walk through the water, then I have to walk up through the snow to get into the house. And it's like, for myself, it's gonna be a slip hazard. Even the grade on that one section is kind of a trip hazard. And the older I get, the more off balance I get. Right. It's an issue that uh, I would like them to take care of. If they don't, then I'm going to have to build a new sidewalk going into that entrance, raise it up to meet their sidewalk, and bring in topsoil to level it up. And you, you have the uh, I have four the engineers. I you have, have contact Bruce, information. I have Bruce Martin's email address. Okay. As um, well as the commissioners. Okay. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how we could help. I mean, other than. I'm just telling you what I have heard yeah. that it was uh, talked about at the fire department meeting. Okay. And I did send it to uh, Todd Crossroads, my concern, and he forwarded that on to Robert Willie. Okay. So yep. that's where we stand, okay. just to make you aware, because I know if they're coming back to town, I'm sure you have other people that have issues that need to be addressed as well. I'm sure there are. Um, okay. I haven't heard anything. I'm not sure, Max, in the back, have you heard anything, Mac, about it? Um, haven't heard a thing, haven't okay. seen anything. Okay. Okay. If we do hear anything, we'll be sure to pass it along so that you, okay. you know. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And our Did you like our meeting? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Linda. Linda. Yes. Uh, the Vermont leads to cities and towns. It's not on what you came to talk about, but since you're leaving it, it's not going to be There was a whole bunch of um, grants that were given out the buildings. Now, I don't know if we can go historical like we did last year, fix. I'm not saying historical committee, I'm saying historical repairs. Um, if you can tie in a repair to the historical repair this year, I think you can get funding from it. I received that would email. be new repairs and not ones that we already did. Is that I, what you're talking so, about? Someone asked a question about it and they said, Well, what if it's continuing repairs? Can I roll back? And they said that you know, it, it, you'd have to fill out the paperwork. But I do, uh, I kept the email, it can be an email, and it's in a link uh, that I can send to the town or send to you if you want to give me your email address or whatever you want to do. All of us, well, I know I received it, I don't want to talk for anyone else, but I received it the other day, like a week or so ago. Okay. Or I can just give you my phone and you can forward it yourself. 
I've got your email address and I will forward you my email okay. address I'll and send you it can to forward that information. Yeah. To I'm not saying it's hundred percent, but it may help. Okay. And All right. right now we're working with uh, Jim at okay. the Preservation Trust of Vermont. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you, John, for bringing that up. It's anything we can do to save some money. For yep. Sure. All right. Next on the docket is roads. Come on up. Actually, hang on. I hear you're right. We have other visitors. Do you have business or just attending for fun? Just for fun. <laughs> All right. We'll move we'll, we'll on roads then. We appreciate your attendance. Yes. Letter of intent from the state to participate in a main floor road grant. Excellent. Do is, I think you just sign right there. The duly authorized reference. Yeah. Okay. And then they when you finish the reference. And then the floor is the yeah. form must be submitted by the coming floor. Okay. And this one just read in the document and for the record. Do I want to read it? No, no, no. Really read the document oh, what it is. So letter of intent to participate in the uh, 2023 Municipal Rose Grant Aid Program. This is what it is. And this is all the documentation that goes with it, which I'll pass to you, John, because I know you love to read that stuff. <laughs> Does anybody on the board see any issues with signing this document so that we can participate in the. You don't program? have to participate, you just have to be like signed it if you want to participate. Okay. Does anybody see any issues with it? No. I don't. I don't. Fair? I can I can hear you. Um, <laughs> you want this back? Oh, we need to let John read it. Read it. Yeah, don't lose it. Thanks. Brigham, we've done the all the bottom, except for a couple in the back. All the front and part of one side, but the lift is having issues, so they came and got it Thursday. Chuck was gonna fix it, and okay. we haven't seen it back yet. So, but the plywood's was all there. And, okay. Um, I did have a question on that. Was any of the overtime that went into that, was that reflected in this bill? No overtime. Okay. No, you just answer it down. How much did you get done, sir? All the bottom, okay. the back where that one door was done with OSB. Yeah. We haven't done that yet because those cars parked in the way. Right. But we got the three quarter inch there to finish that one up. There was a personnel door or something on the south side that had something that had plywood on it, but we, yeah. we we put some three quarter inch on top of it. You know, nice. Just some leftover strips just to reinforce it. So yeah, because they were crying with that, I think, right? Not that one. The the one on the back there were they were. I'm sorry. Um, but anyway, there's, there's one. I I only call it a cellar window that we've got. I think boards across, but I think we might need to beef that up a little too. So. Do you think you'll have any strips of plywood or that OSB left? Because we plan on tearing that off, right? We're gonna take the OSB off and we're gonna do it with the with the plywood. Right. And we got, so we got if we of backed off those two bys, could we put a chunk of that OSB over it and put the two by over the top? Oh, yeah. Or, the, or or some of the plywood. We could we could double up some of the yeah. Three. Some just the yeah. Just the secure it up. Yeah. Um, Other than that, that's going pretty good. Okay. Should be easier now that school might be up tomorrow. So yeah. Well, they uh, I think they're here. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. So okay. it, well, it'll, just, it'll well, depend on too when the lift comes yeah, back. Yeah, the so. lift comes back. And, just, okay. and you had enough plywood? Oh, yeah, more than enough. Okay. Good. So we'll store the remainder of that. Yeah. Just in yeah. a safe place that yeah. can be reused. Good. Yeah, for whatever. Um, anything else on the roads? Still waiting on, have you heard anything on any mowing? We put you I talked to Mr. Montgomery and I talked to BJ and they're both, the, Montgomery was trying to figure out, Mr. Montgomery uh, Mon was trying to figure out what he could do with what he had for a mower. Okay. Didn't sound like he had a mower that would really reach out. He was almost thinking we wanted to do like first pass yeah. and I explained when we were doing second. He was going to go up and look at the post road he thought Saturday, just to kind of get a hint of what it was. BJ, when he, when I talked to him, he seemed to think that the guy he works for 
that one, he's got three different machines. One is close, one is a little bit out there, and one's a big arm. And he said that big arm would take everything on the post road as far as all those all 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 down. Yeah. Good, good. So, yeah, so we're just waiting on waiting on bids for that. Um, price and the quotes or whatever. Have we started mowing with ours yet? We haven't. I want to maybe do this hill here. We got it on. Yeah, yeah, I just no. I just traveled one of the roads the other yep. day, and even the grass is starting to get pretty tall. Yeah, I think if we knock that down, we'd be in better shape. Yep. Um, Did you get my message on Waterville Mountain Road? Yep, yeah, well, same day picture. It I must see. have been that night before it's rain or something. I think that one might, might have been there for a while. It, right. it, it was there, but I think it might have got worse with that rain. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't out. notice it before. Just a small but... one, just just about um, Seth's there. Okay. Yeah. Like between there and. Uh, Larry's shirt house. Oh, okay. Yep. Um, any other questions or comments for roads? Uh, one. Uh, grader. Yep. Any update on the graders? Haven't heard a thing from him. I'm assuming he either lost my email or doesn't want to talk to me. Or he doesn't have anything to talk about right now because he might have sold that one that was in New York and, and he said he was having problems with Things that came as they came in, they went out just as fast as they came in. So I have not heard. I have not heard anything more from Johnson. I heard a word. But we we kind of decided that Johnson's was out due to yeah, I mean, due to the four wheel drives versus four, 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 four versus six. Yeah. yeah. Um, I would say I think that's an item that we can start looking into. Okay. Um, maybe maybe email them again, just because I feel. I can reach out to Case and Cat too. Yeah, I mean, even if, I mean, right now they're saying it's like a two or three year wait on a new oh. machine. So, I mean, if we start talking about it now and we're two or three years out, either way, we're going to be right at that point. So, it's worth looking into. It's worth getting some serious numbers for crunch. Yep. So. How about the uh, the piece of equipment that, uh, that we received the grant for 80%? That's still incoming. I haven't heard a word from Milton Rental yet. They were saying that would be possibly due in by the end of the month, I think. Uh, I Is believe it? by the end of June. Yeah. She she wanted an invoice from them, and that's what they paid it, I think, last. To the hydro stated? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a matter of waiting for them to come in. They ordered them before I actually told them to order it because they figured somebody's going to buy it. So they got through it coming. So one of them's got our name on it, and they just a matter of waiting for them. But we've already submitted the invoice to get that off of our checklist. Now all we need is a picture. We need the picture, yes. Right. So, and pictures, and then we'll have to do all the paperwork to get that from the little backside of the grant. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Any other others? Trying to consume fuel? Well, I hate to complain, but it was on Lost Nation Road today, and it's a pretty rough. It's coming. <laughs> okay. We're in that way right now. We just got to look. Third load of chloride this morning. And of course, we gotta wait for a little rain to moisten. <coughs> I think he's gonna try to hit. That seems pretty hard. Oh, yeah, it's it's hard, and, and the minute you loosen it up, it's very dusty. And usually, if you scrape it when it's dusty like that, it'll, and it rains after you put the chloride in. Slime. Yeah. Bingo. Yeah. Yeah. But. Played that game. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Almost as bad as ice on that, I swear. Oh, yeah. All right. Any other others? Got that all read up? I got it all read up. It's all yours. Okay. Thank you, Mac. Thank you. Review of the mail. Uh, Efficiency Vermont wants to send us some opportunities. Up to $125 off LEDs for outdoor lamps, $70, $70 off for high bay fixtures. Which would probably be great because the garage need any new lighting. They're also doing like faucets and stuff too, I heard. Um, yeah, they're also, uh, just for the record, and anybody that's uh, going to review this, is it efficiency remote buying back old appliances that still run. So if you got an ancient air conditioner, like I do, they'll even come out and pick it up. 50 bucks in their pocket. Mm -hmm. better, better than a garage set. So this is, if anybody's interested, that's the one for, that one's all fixtures though, light fixtures. Yeah, I also did get a nice package of light fixtures from them as well. Yep. Um, we have uh, Sophia, 
is um, she's checked out our account website and sees that we have good design and it looks great, but it's not ranking on Google or other search engines and all. Our permission would like to uh, send us a report and pricing to show you how a few things she can greatly improve for us on our website. And are we interested? For the record that uh, comes through like that on um, my stuff every day. Yeah. Uh, especially since I have a website. Yep. So. I just believe this is this is the the town's web address. Ah, so yeah. all of our all of our stuff gets printed off and oh, cool. that way we look at it and we can file that one under G. So you're not interested in that? We're, we're not interested in that. Just bring it in. Yep, no, that's, that's good. Um, this one was the email that I forwarded to all of you from our school. Oh, shoot. I just left that graduation so fast. She has letters for us. Okay. Then I, I, I did I do that up. I can read this then? Yes. Okay. It says, hello Josh, this is from Rhoda McClure, the principal at the Bakersfield Elementary School. Hello Josh, I wanted to let you know that students who were involved in the break-in in Brigham uh, the other night are writing apology letters to the town. When I have them all, I would like to bring them to someone, um, Terry was there today, uh, or have a students do so. Uh, who should these letters go to? Uh, I'm also working to have the office come and talk with them about the seriousness of the break, break. I think I was supposed to say officer, sorry. Yeah. Um, I've also talked to some of the parents, make sure that their child, children have the opportunities to make this right by helping fix the damage. Um, hoping that we can get all the parents to agree that they need to be part of this. However, I'm wondering how we can make this happen. Um, as I said in an email to the rest of the board here, I have received two verbal apologies from two of the um, students. Uh, Terry said that they do have written apologies. We will get those eventually. Um, I think having them help with the cleanup is kind of hard due to the fact that the plywood is twice the size of the kids that have done the damage. Mm -hmm. um, but I wasn't sure um, maybe if they could just help with picking up some of the scattered bricks around obviously not the glass because of the safety issue but you know maybe some of the scattered bricks and have them stacked in one of the rooms that we can access easily well they could they could help fourth of july week end with maybe some of the garbage pick up after that's not yeah. a bad idea the it's safer than that. going over there and working at that building yeah. Well, they broke into it, so I don't think they're worried about staying in the site. Oh, the only thing well, is, where, where the bricks are, Josh, there is a lot of glass. Oh, okay. And I, I just do not see them. Pick up a case of glass and all that. There's, there's a lot of glass. All right. Yeah, I was just trying to think of things that we could. Right. Yeah. I mean, we're talking middle schoolers, so it's not like they're right. not big enough to handle a sheet of plywood or run a screw gun or anything like so that. So, just for the record, for folks who don't know, over Memorial Day weekend, we received notice that the Brigham Academy was broken into uh, and the board on Memorial Day had a call emergency meeting and Mac to go over and view the damage which has resulted in which Mac was talking about during his report that we've had to buy three quarter inch plywood to totally cover all the windows and doors and entryways on the first and second floor to the building. Which is something that we had, we had already budgeted for Correct. when we built the budget back in December. It was just sure. finding the time to get the lift and the plywood, hoping right. the prices of plywood were going to come down, but that didn't happen. So yeah. it wasn't that wasn't the only cause of us pouring it up. It, right. the, it just drew us there and, and put a more urgent stamp on it, I guess, in which Mac is, as Mac reported, the whole bottom floor has pretty much been done and the second floor is going to get started. All right. Any others on mail? Yeah, Brigham Academy update. Um, Lance is not here today, but we will get another update at the next meeting. So that covers that one. Yeah, Roadside he, moment. He needed something signed, I think. Didn't he? He, he needed he something signed. signed. Is it a reimbursement? It might be able to warrants. Because sometimes what we do is we pay and then it's reimbursed yeah, by. Okay. Terry, these are yours from the Mott League of Cities and Towns that are being mailed here. So oh, okay. They were in the mail, that's why. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah I got sign up still. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, roadside mowing, we've got the update on that. We haven't received any bids yet, but we have two people interested. Dog issue on the other hand? Uh, I think we can remove that. That was resolved. Excellent. I don't know if we need a motion to remove it, but it's nope. It is on the bid resolved. It's good. Okay, and if we can just make sure that's off yeah. the next one. Yeah. Culver project in East Bakersfield. I do not see a need for update. We're waiting on the design, correct? Um, we're waiting on design. I did get a note from Luke Busetti that he told me the engineer was doing the design. We should expect something by the end of the month. Excellent. From them, at least where they're going to go. All right. External audit updates. Um, I have taken one of the one of the letters to hand deliver. Um, did you see they're due June th uh, Monday, June thirtieth? That's Monday. on the letter. That's on the letter, correct? It is. Okay. That's on the letter, but it's mo Monday, June twenty seventh. So it's really the following after. Okay. Later in the week. So, <laughs> so if they come in on Monday, great. If they come in on June thirtieth, right. great. So <laughs> but we'll accept them either day. Bad. We can we can edit that to accept either day. Oh, That'll work. Man. No, we haven't received any more though. Okay. Um, like I said, I took one to July try and get to the late. Okay, took one to whom? <laughs> to try and get to, I forget the name of it. Um, Water Minister? Yeah. yeah. I, they changed I their name. I said Yeah. Yeah, they changed their name, so it might not have gotten delivered. Oh, got it, got it. And I think they might have even changed their location too. So. Mm -hmm. um, that brick building that used to be. Oh. The telephone company, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Item G, we can't touch until we are done with FEMA. Um, count all furnaces, we're not worried about them, still nice out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is, my, this is my favorite part of the meeting. John, any other <laughs> others? I have no other others. No other <laughs> others. Oh, oh, no. No. Uh, well, I sure better I'm make a motion to adjourn then. <laughs> Make sure you start that. No other others on the end there for John. Um, I that, that are we got a quorum for voting for? Well, oh, I know. Year? I wanted to know um, what exactly. We've been having a lot of questions about what exactly is happening on Fourth of July. It's on so the second. The fourth of the fourth of July celebration. Yep. That we agreed to with the fire department mm -hmm. because the fire department is the ones who shut down the road and uh, do all of the traffic organization, I guess you could call it. Our agreement with them was that we were doing no parades and this road out here, the uh, East Bakersfield Road from 108 to the town garage was not going to be closed. They weren't closing it at they like were, they were not closing at it. six? They weren't going to close it at what? I don't believe so. I don't believe okay. it was going to be closed at all. Not the only closed. thing we were doing was fireworks because of, and this was, this was from the fire department, the lack of volunteers and the amount of time and effort it takes for the few volunteers that they have to do that. Okay. So, uh, in years to come, if there are more people that would like to volunteer, even if it's for that particular event, um, I can get you the contact information for the fire chief, and I'm sure they would welcome you to any other meetings. So I did ask the uh, uh, assistant chief if he would mention that at their meeting last week. I don't know if they did. They said the town is anxious to get some information and put stuff up on our website. People are calling and asking. So we're attacking it from both sides here. Yeah, because I wanted to either, I want to put them in the minutes yep. and then just kind of flag yep. on the home page. Yep. No. Um, you said something about Local hot dog barbecue. barbecue or something. Uh, John actually Somebody had a point to that. On there. Yeah, we're, we're going to the Colmar, uh Collective. Community Collective. Community Collective, Col Community Collective yeah. is going to have hot dogs and hamburgers and maybe uh, one. Way, and yeah. one one person is donating uh, hot chocolate, uh, uh, milk chocolate, right? Are we going to distribute chocolate that? Milk, one? Chocolate milk, you mean? Chocolate milk. Milk chocolate. Hey, I know you milk chocolate. Forget that. Is that it's chocolate milk. 
Uh, I, I believe we heard that someone wants to distribute to the, the children chocolate milk, and I believe that we uh, may be doing that. Yeah, we yeah. may be doing that for him awesome. with the. Okay. Well, don't pull me because I don't yeah. know. Just no. know that's what it is. I'm guessing that's who it is. There's a Franklin County, I think it's Franklin County, Dairy Conservative usually does stuff like that. Don't, yeah. put, don't put that in the minutes either. That's okay. just a. That's so a, those I, hot dogs and hamburgers by the Cold Hall Community Collective, where are they going to be? Well, that's a good question. Are you like the angry? On the green. Right. And that time is. Does that require. After not three. Not trying After to three. Do, so starting at three. Not trying to call anything or disrupt disrupt anything, but does that require a not a building use permit, but a land use permit? Because we do make them fill one out to use the Brigham Academy Green for the car show and stuff like that. Do you have the vendors do that? Like if we they have the, the, the people who are in charge of the car show. Oh no, God. I mean, no. The like church they do, they're talking going out of the bar. Right. But that's they still do like little sales so over here. There is a, there's a, there's a disclaimer that says that the town is not liable for damage to property or, yeah. um, so I feel like it would cover the town if that entity, John, if you're the representative for that, would fill out the, the fill out the paperwork and get it approved by the select board. <laughs> Or yeah, I don't remember what it's called. I think we use the building use permit, but I think it's ground. I think it says building, building use grounds. grounds. Yeah. yeah. But I think it would it would look yeah. I don't want anybody to question it and yeah. say, well, yeah. because he's on the select board, that's why you can fill it out. So um, I also heard and maybe I'm gonna lie here from Brendan. I thought you said local bands. Did you say there was gonna be music? I'm Somebody bring, else said that. I'm bringing I'm music. No, I thought I, I thought I thought there was going to be some kind of local band. What are you saying? That's pretty quite sad to I think when Paul was here, I think he mentioned the Rusty Bucket or whatever the, those guys that we're going to play, play before the fire. I think so. Right. I think, that's I think that's he mentioned right. that. I think that guy was coming with the PA system. Yeah. Yep. So, the sound system said. Yeah. Which, okay. which we covered. And the other thing we're doing besides food is we're doing a fifty-fifty. Make sure putting it in the stuff I just talking about. That's the other. 50 point. 50 what? Raffle. Raffle. 50 50 chances. To benefit, to benefit, to benefit the Colton Wallet. And all funds are going towards the capability of the selection, the inspection, and you know, depending upon how much funds we can get, the, the money going towards a building to put a new, uh, some form of store up for Bakersfield again. And it could be at any location coming to a town, Bakersfield. Excellent. Brenda, you did have another other. I just want to mention because Tammy wanted uh, everybody to be up front. Uh, she's assisting me with some of the uh, deep backlog of permitting that we got with one particular project that's sending out 18 letters. Um, and she has helped organize that. And we might have another 10 hours to clear that whole backlog. So it's, that would be all I want to make sure the board was aware of that we, we were using her beyond her capacity as assistant town clerk. But you're going to help me, Terry? Great. I see that look on your face. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it all done. I'm spending an average of two I, I hours. I that you can't get it all done, but after the fact is not when you get it approved. <laughs> no, she hasn't been paid for yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> So if we don't know, she doesn't get paid for it. You decided to work for some. Two hours? No, I think it was like five. Oh. Because we came in twice. That's right. But we, we're not done, so mm -hmm. we're going to continue. Yeah. This is zoning administration work? Is that what you're Yeah, zoning work. And I'm, I want permission to make sure that she's okay with stretching her hours as the assistant uh, town clerk. I really think it's not going to be a permanent thing. It's oh. just to get the caught up, back on uh, specifically with this one project it's been sitting here for 10 months since last fall so that's up to you guys sorry because i know the project yeah you're involved i am involved so i kind of have to abstain so uh, are you looking for a motion well with or approval. All due respect, I'd have to abstain in that 
as well. So it comes down to Terry and I are wrestling. That's 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 why I said we actually need Lance to no, no. Yeah, Lance would be yeah. well, yeah, because Terry and John do not make a quarrel. I, I think that's, I hate to say it, but I think that's how it has to set at this point because as as a, a budding property owner, I would have to abstain as the You're gonna get a letter. zoning, I, I, <laughs> will have, I will sign for it. As a zoning administrator, you would have to assign and Terry and John do not make a quorum, so this is not something that we can vote on. It can be in the minutes as an item that was brought up. To, but it will have to be tabled until the next meeting. Thank you, no problem. All right. I wasn't sure what you what the once you said what the item was, yeah, okay. it made a difference. Yep. Yeah. All right. Waiting on. Okay, so just to recap, the <laughs> goal Cold Hall Community Center, you're starting at three on the green with hot dogs and hamburgers. Right. Um, at six o'clock. What was the six o'clock with the fire department? No idea. Nothing. Well, yeah. originally the fire department said they were shutting the road. They weren't shutting down anything until six p.m. Yeah. Okay. okay. But now they're not shutting. They are, no, no, I think like, they are like shutting down, but not till six. It's okay. only during six. I think it's fireworks. Only during fireworks. I would have to go back to the minutes. Yeah, I would probably for people to park. And well, I think most of it is for the the volume of people that are coming across means across the street right. at fireworks time right it makes sense for it to be shut down but okay. yeah because that um does anybody know when the rest of the bucket's going to start with that? no just the road shutting down it's really not on our show we could it's get the fire departments the only the only thing we really have to do with this is we are we have voted in as a town the sums to cover the fireworks oh, show itself mm -hmm. other than that it's it's been a uh, historical society fire department. Oh, which historical society can do ice cream? They're not. Uh, well, it is if it's be through the standards. No, I, th I, I thought Sharon, what did Sharon say? There was three. <coughs> the, the, the church, normally she said, yeah. does strawberry uh, shortcake. Strawberry shortcake. And she, I thought she said the they're reservation. Not, they're not doing ice cream. I don't they're know. not doing it now? I don't know. Uh, I thought you mentioned that in my last meeting. So you don't know well, where they're not? I don't know. Okay. I don't Come know. July 2nd so, at 6 o'clock, there's going to be something. Be something. <laughs> something is going to happen. Surprise! Sammy, <laughs> <Surprise. laughs> <Surprise. laughs> <Surprise. Surprise. laughs> on the YouTube channel. Two firecrackers and a hot dog. <laughs> on the town YouTube channel on the Cold Hollow Community <laughs> June 8th. Uh, June 8th meeting that we take it's up there, uh -huh. there's a full conversation about what was going on in that town. Not saying that you have to listen to it for the full hour plus, but I could have sworn. I just, I kind of want to surprise celebration that way nobody gets hollered at it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and but I can reach out to Sharon Lawyer. See she what happens. Answer. So, for the record, I'll try to plumb the fire department personnel and okay. what they decide to do. Do it quick. Do. Yes. <laughs> yes, like tomorrow. Okay, yeah, yeah, if you talk to Tammy, if you talk to Sharon Lawyer, she can probably uh, fill you in on the on church, church and the uh, and the I'll see one of the Stanleys tomorrow. Yeah. Um, also, Tammy, I know we usually at the end of this it says future agenda. Um, could you make sure that for the next meeting, yeah. Matt Hall? Matt Hall. Yep. We can uh, get the definite on the fireworks and fire department involvement on the July 2nd. We can also get, um, we will be discussing emergency requirements and responses for class four roads to camps. And the third item would be um, the town's support in installing a cell phone tower that would uh, provide communications for not just cell phones, but um, it would be a cell phone tower. I believe it's a relay for emergency dispatch. And I don't know all the, all the definites, but Matt has that information uh, that's going on his property. And where's, where's he? He is right on the Enosburg Bakersfield town line on one way. Tanya, can you move that microphone closer to you? 
Linda says you were having conversations going on without adequate mic, so I'll say can't wait to get word. Okay. Speakers. That's what she said. Oh, I don't think I have any speakers. Speakers, thank you. Can't hear Terry. Can't hear Terry. Really? I don't, I don't have anything to say. <laughs> well, when you're talking, you've got to but, be on the record. It, that's right. I can, I can hear mumbling from you two, but I don't, can't understand it. I was just repeating what they were saying as I was writing. That pen, you can pull it down so you don't have to. <laughs> there you go. Excellent. And, um, I believe. So that's all Matt Hall. Yeah, he's okay. just he's got a couple items to discuss and he said if he didn't get here tonight before we shut down that he would like to be put on the next agenda. Which and is June twenty seventh. Correct. Um, just so everybody knows, I will not be here that day. Okay. Yeah, I'm Northeast Ag Teacher Conference, so I won't be in I'll be in the state of Booker. <laughs> <laughs> Any other others? If not, I would entertain one of those motions. Motion to adjourn. Second. The motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Have a good night, everyone. Cheers.